Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscurian Joe PD and for today what we have in here it is We Happy Fuse. So the developers behind this game, the Compulsion Games, uh, had offered me a key of the game. So they offered me the key a long time ago when the game was on RV Access and uh, it was a nice move in my opinion because I did test the game when it was on RV Access and the game right now it is very very different than what I did test, so they really evolved a lot. So we happy few, let me just say this straight to you because many people still are confused what is this game about, but most of the people still think that this game it is Bioshock or uh, developed by the same team of Bioshock. No, it is nothing to do with Bioshock, okay, aside from the visual art style and well, probably the way that you uh, open stuff and get items every place so you go to these cupboards and stuff like that and you get a lot of items everywhere okay but apart from that the similarities to the Bioshock ends in here okay so let's start first with the graphics so this game uses uh, Unreal Engine 4 and so it is usually very demanding for this laptop but I was able to run this game at uh, the native resolution of the laptop but getting the rendering at 720p and all the settings at the minimum settings possible. The results were a little bit mixed bag. I was able to get a 1% low of 24 which is the minimum frame and an average of 35 and the maximum of 69. So what happens mostly is when you're playing uh, in the outside parts of the map the game plays around pretty much 25 to 30s might appear sometimes a frame rate of 23 or 22 for a second but most of the time what you're going to get it's pretty much a frame rate above uh, 25 frames per second to 30 frames per second outside inside the story it's a little bit different you can expect a frame rate between 35 to 50 frames per second so it's pretty much playable the thing is, I'm not really sure what to expect on the further levels of the game, I'm not really sure if it's going to be playable or not, but for me it gets a pass, because I think the game is pretty playable. Uh, I'm not really expecting an extreme action in this game that wouldn't be playable at around 25 frames per second, and it's no different than most of the latest games that did came out for PS3, where most of the games were being played play that 25 to 30 frames per second. So, in my opinion, it is pretty playable. I think you can buy the game if you want. It's a little bit expensive though, and that's something that I want to cover about. Now, let's talk a little bit about the game. So about the game itself, like I said, the game it was on early access, it was uh, on early access during a lot of time, they offered me the key, I was very satisfied with that. But, uh, well, I'm not sure what the hell did happen, but they decided to go with um, a new publisher, okay? So Gearbox picked up the project and started to be the publisher of the game. I'm not sure how the hell this is accurate or not, but the game, when, it, when there wasn't Gearbox um, as a publisher, the game was costing around 20 to 30 euros. I think that if they launched the game for 30 bucks, I think it was a good price, okay? But I'm not, again, I'm not really sure if this is related or not, but since Gearbox appeared in this game, the game starts to cost 60 bucks. And in my personal opinion, the game isn't worth 60 bucks. It depends a lot, a lot what you can expect about the game. And to be honest, my video in here, it is a little bit big, it is pretty much 20 minutes and I will shut up eventually and I will let you enjoy a little bit more of gameplay without uh, any commentary for you to have a better idea about the sound and everything about the game. But uh, my video won't be explaining everything about this game, okay? Uh, I think that if you are searching for a review for this game, you, sh you should check ACG reviews and stuff like that because these guys explain very well what is this game about. But essentially, this game, it is pretty much a survival game um, where you have a skill tree, you have a lot, of a lot of stuff that you can evolve and also have a story. And this is the thing that I think this game... Um, is very good. It's at the story. It might be a little bit generic, but it is good. The sound, it is very good, in my opinion. The voice acting is amazing. And um, graphics-wise, I think it's rather acceptable, okay? 
It's an Unreal Engine 4 title and it will behave as an Unreal Engine 4 title. Okay, essentially it's that. But probably what it's going to disappoint you, and for me, I think this is my main disappointment. I think since this, this game offers a story and it's pretty much a survival, um, this game has a thing that it was a thing back then that it was a random generated scenarios. So it means that every time you start a new game, the scenarios will be eventually a little bit different. So not all the city will be the same. The game will generate different assets for the series, uh, for the cities and stuff like that. So it's a good thing if you want to replay the game. But I don't think that it would be a nice thing for this game. I think that if they crafted this game from the beginning with the um, linear story and the linear assets and environments, even if it was open world but it was designed by them to be like this and not random, I think it was a better, a better idea. But that is just my opinion towards what the game could be. Um, Steam users voted this game around 70%, so again, it's not a big, big score. And like I said, I, I would prefer you to buy this game on a sale. I think it would be more justified for this game. But if you really like this game and if you really want to play this game and if you check the reviews in other channels of YouTube or in websites and you like what you saw or what you read, well, go ahead because it's, it's a nice game, okay? It might not be for everyone but it's still a nice game. Although for all the users that are a little bit more skeptical if they should waste the money or not, my personal suggestion is to save the money, buy this game on sale, go buy any other game if you don't have any other game to buy, go buy an SSD because they are getting very cheap, save the money for anything, for a girlfriend, for a boyfriend, to go out or something one day or one weekend. There is a lot of stuff you can do with 60 bucks, okay? So, guys, that's essentially just that. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you want to buy the game, there is a Steam link on the description of the video. Okay, so I do hope you keep enjoying the rest of it. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye, guys. Thank you a lot for watching. Bad. First, put your things in that box. I will leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. to fight you. The feeling is muted. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? And... Danny's picked the least for one. That's cheery. Hey, short guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's got to come on strong with that lead pipe. You've got to want to block that.
sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's spice it up, shall we, eh? How about we let the birds have a chance? If you lost your bet on Defoe, now's your chance to have a double or quits. Sort of vent. I wonder if I can pry it loose. I'd need a jimmy bar. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a motelling dispenser. That chap at the I suppose now I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. Sorry to bother. Please don't make a fuss. Ugh! <laughs> 
always liked you, actually. There we go. I can find a paracotoline. Pure resublimated dimotoline. The fuel of the future, now. go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. I think that's everything I had when they jumped me. disappear into those bushes. I wish I kept in shape. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get... Uh... Hello? Anyone out there? Christ almighty! Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one! Shit. Slamming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here! Over here! You wanna get thrashed? You're new here, aren't you? From the parade? Yes. Well, I... How could you tell? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how to survive your next five minutes, and in return you'll give me your socks. Oh, that's outrageous! Your funeral? Why are they so angry? Because that suit you're wearing reminds them of all the jolly, proper, decent wellies who drove them out of the homes in the village. And now we're all cold and tired and starving to death. You better get a nice sharp rock and rip that to shreds. My uncle gave this to me for Christmas. Or they'll rip you to shreds. Shit. I hadn't thought there would be so many. Yeah, it's like the latest groovy nightclub, isn't it? People get a bad batch of joy and it like flips a switch and they can't take joy anymore. So they get chased out of the village. Been a lot of bad batches lately. So what happens if I rip up my suit? They invite me over for tea and biscuits. Then they really won't give a damn what you do, so long as you don't take things that don't belong to you. Or go up and punch someone in the nose. Now you can survive the next five minutes. Cheerio! <laughs> <laughs> 